Is it done? Yes, master. The seer has been branded into power. Ah. Yeah. 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 It's 7.30. You're blacked out already. Sorry, Kurt. Looks like you're not going back to New York with your sister. I wouldn't feel safe putting you in a car with Karen when she's been drinking. I blame your father for not loving her enough. Ah, please. She never shut up. You'll get it when you have kids. You don't love them all. Karen? Karen, you blacked out again. Ugh. Karen! So the house? Everything is mine? Karen, do these earrings look fabulous or like a bit too overkill? Uh, the first quarter projections even adjusted for our estimated COVID margins. Co when COVID, co when they put it all caps, it sounds like you should have to say it like COVID, you know? Guys? Lucy! Uh, anyway, the- I need you. Karen, I'm in a Zoom meeting right now. Uh, sorry about that. Um, back to the projections of our- Karen! What the heck? You can get back to your game in a minute. This is serious. Game? I was in a meeting with my entire company. Wait, wait, they were wait, about wait. to- You were working from home? What do you- what do you think I've been doing every day in the kitchen since COVID? Honestly, I thought Zoom meeting was like some World Warcraft game you got into. You think I play computer games? What? You, what is it, a spreadsheet wizard? Do I earn points for? My, well, I guess I get paid, so it's it's not a game. Well, I mean, you are into nerd shit. N nerd sh nerd shit? Like what? You're a nerd. It's fine. Caring about the environment isn't nerd shit. You know. The, everyone likes the ocean. You wouldn't have a beach day if it wasn't clean. Carbon monoxide, water. It's all you ever talk about. You brought it up. I need to talk about me right now. My company's going through layoffs. I've been I having these really stressful nightmares and uh, things have just been weird since I got out of the hospital. You mean since your parents died? Yeah, that too. I've been having these dreams about when that old lady grabbed my arm. I think she put a curse on me. I thought the doctor said you were dehydrated. Yeah, I wasn't though. Well, it seems like you don't drink enough. I drink more than anyone you know. Water, Karen. You don't drink enough water. And Thanks, everybody. Give it up for me. Have a good night. You know, if you're not busy tonight, I'm I'm having a little housewarming party. Karen? Karen? Karen, are you all right? Yeah, why? Your eyes rolled back in your head and you were unresponsive for like 10 seconds. Oh, I'm, I'm a little spacey. I, I ate some edibles this morning. Speaking of which, can you drive me to get more weed? I have to work. Oh, that's cool. Uh, can you just drop me off at Brantley's on your way? I work, work from, from home. home. Right, gay. Yeah, speaking of gay, didn't you break up with Brantley? I'm gonna, but he's giving me a ride to my parents' house tomorrow. We're stealing my dead mom's jewelry. <laughs> I know, isn't that weird? I don't think that's stealing. You probably inherited some of it when she died. Oh, wow, I hadn't even thought about that. Haven't you talked to any of your family? Not even your brother? Ugh, no, I don't want to bother him. He's probably mourning our parents or whatever. He's such a chode. Brentley, do you believe in magic? In a young girl's heart, yes, I believe in magic. Brentley, please stop. Oh, yes, I do, and it's magic. Brentley, no, please stop. It hurts. Brentley, I will throw myself out of this car if you ever break into song again. Sorry, babe, but yes, I believe in magic in a young girl's heart. Why'd you ask? Just forget it. Care girl, tell me. <sighs> well, I think that old lady that grabbed my arm put a curse on me. You mean when you passed out from dehydration? That's not what happened. Well, you have been drinking a lot. Exactly. I drink tons of water. Obviously, I mean alcohol. You even got drunk before we hit the road today. So did you. Yeah, only because you bullied me into it. You started chanting, real men drive drunk. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Besides, I hate going to the suburbs sober. I'd rather eat pussy than, I, I mean, I'd rather die than do that thing I just said. That is the obstacle distracting the seer from filling out the prophecy. You know what must be done. <laughs> Karen? <gasps> oh, hey, Kurt. What the hell are you doing? I'm just looking through some of mom's stuff and, you know, being sad and all be because she died. But I'm leaving it all here. I'm not stealing. It's all yours anyway. You inherited everything. Wait, I did? Yeah, you missed the whole executor meeting, but our parents left you everything. Oh my God, I have to call Dana. It's pretty fucked up, actually. They left me nothing. I have no Karen, idea how So the house? Everything is mine? Karen, do these earrings look fabulous or like a bit too overkill? Wait, this 
this happened before. Jangle, jangle. I've seen this. What are you talking about, care girl? Nothing. Forget it. I'm, I'm having a housewarming party tonight, and wait, does this mean I get mom and dad's cars? I mean, except for the one they died in. That got totaled. But, but... the Chevy's still in the garage? And it's mine? Ooh, I hope there's gas in it. Uh, Brentley, we're done. I'm breaking up with you right now. We're done. Wait, what? Hey, you can keep those earrings, but the rest of the stuff is mine. Why? I inherited it. No, not not that. Why are you breaking up with me? Oh, well, I don't need a ride to my show later. I have a car now. (laughs) That's all our relationship was contingent on? A ride to your dumb comedy show? Uh, Brentley, I broke up with you. Why are you still here? (sighs) This is all so sudden. I just put down $800 for our Costa Rica trip. (laughs) <laughs> Blocking your number now, stalker. Can I, Didn't can I, I tell just... you to leave? Because now, technically, you're trespassing. Oh, I will call the police. You're being a real Karen, Karen. Wow, you can really hear the subtle difference through your sobs. Karen, fine. If your cold heart's cold desire is to cast me out into the cold to be cold and alone, well then... I'll be Hello, alone. 911. Yeah, my psycho ex boyfriend is stalking. I'm going. Me. See you later. <laughs> Just kidding, 911. I'm fine. Bye. They don't care. I call them all the time. Can you drive me to soccer practice? What? No, just get a ride from mom. Were, were you about to say mom? Did you forget our parents died? I've had so much on my mind lately. So if you look at Lucy. the next quarter projections, Lucy. they say that- Hey guys, that, so sorry. Uh, Can I borrow Lucy? It. Her dog just died. They know I don't have a dog. If anybody asks, it, tell them I got run over by a lawnmower. They know I don't have a dog. Do you listen to anything I say? Or is this just like Karen's fun brain playhouse time? Yeah, cool, whatever. But guess what? I'm psychic now. Woo! <laughs> what? I had a psychic vision that I would inherit my parents' house. And then it happened. Wasn't I the one that told you that might happen? Exactly. I'm psychic. What? And since I now own a home, I'm happy to announce that I'm moving out of here. You'll finally have time alone to play your computer games. You can't just move, Karen. We have a lease. Too late. The movers are here. Karen? I can't pay the rent on this place alone. Uh, are you threatening me? Uh, no. Because I will sue the recycled pants off you. I'm not! Blocking your number right now, psycho. Do you want us to take this refrigerator too? That refrigerator came with the apartment. And hey, I paid for that couch. Uh... Nah, take it all. She's just kidding. No, I'm not. Take everything. <laughs> I don't care. I don't even care. It's whatever. Banquet. Bukaki. What? What's your name again? Uh... Brentley? I'm Carlos. Remember, we work in System Co. together. I was gonna fuck you a bitch the other night, but then you got weird about it. Actually, Carlos, I regret to inform you she's no longer my bitch. Now she's just another lost soul I once crossed paths with, drifting out to sea. Word? That's cool. No, I mean, that sucks, or whatever. Yeah, well, how have you been? I've been good. Same old shit. Working 9 to 5, showing my penis to people that don't want to see it. Hmm? Oh, that's... Well, that's terrible. Yup, this world's a terrible place, man. Full of awful people controlled solely by their hedonistic impulses and genitals. And it's crazy times. It's good to be thankful you have someone to call your own and... Oh, that's right. I forgot you and that bitch broke up. Drifting in the sea or some shit. Or you know how y'all do with y'all shit. Well, I'm gonna go show my penis to people in the park. If they don't like it, fuck it. I'm gonna do it anyway. See you later, Redwood. It's been a good time. Hey, you're Brentley? Nice to meet you. I'm Gene. And uh, this is going to sound awful, but I work for this demon lord guy. (laughs) And I have to kill you. Kill me? Sweet. Go ahead. Get it over with. (laughs) Hey, now. What's wrong? (laughs) That sex criminal Carlos is right. The world is a terrible place full of awful people. Okay, well, I don't know any sex criminals named Carlos, but he's wrong. The world's not full of awful people. There are some good ones. (laughs) I know, but do you ever feel like the universe is, you know, moves at its own speed and you can never get it to sync up with your own clock? Well, you know what they say. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. My daddy told me that. That doesn't apply to what I'm describing. Yeah, it does. It's like if things can't get any worse, then they will get better at some point. Of course, they have to. Well, how can you say that? You're about to murder me. Well, I don't... If you... Maybe I won't. How about that? Well, well, that would be 
nice of you, I guess. <laughs> See? Your day is already getting better. It's like the clock is correct at this time. It's right. Right on time. It's like you flipped your clock and got you a rock. I don't think we're making the same clock metaphor, but yes, you know, thanks for not killing me. You're welcome, Printly. Oh, my name is Gene, by the way. Oh, yeah, you already said that. Sorry, I just, I'm just nervous sometimes when, hey, uh, hey, this might sound weird, but you like coffee? You want to maybe grab a coffee with me? If by coffee you mean my penis. Oh, my God, are you not gay? Because I'm not gay either. No, no, no. I'll, I'll still grab coffee or, or you can kill me. Totally up to you. Yeah, they call me Karen with the house. I know, it's so stupid. Hey, Curtis, what's going on in your house? My dumb bitch sister had a dumb fucking comedy show and invited all her fans over here for like a party because she doesn't have any real friends. Oh, why is all this furniture in the lawn? Honestly, I don't even know. I think most of it's her roommates. She probably stole it just to like be mean. Oh, sorry your parents died, by the way. I hope you come back to school soon. <laughs> yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? <sighs> Have you tried cigarettes yet? No. <sighs> They're pretty tight. You want one? Oh, no, I'm psychic now. So, like, I actually knew you wanted to come over before I even asked. I don't think that's being psychic. I think that's more like intuition. No, you don't get it. I have, like, vision. Karen, Karen! There's a naked guy in your kitchen! Oh, that's just Carlos. He's cool. See? I told you, bitches, I'm straight. Stop talking about my penis. <laughs> Not, nice penis, dude. Are these the kind of people you hang out with these days? Well, these are mostly people from the show I was at, but... Wait, what is she doing here? Hey, Karen. You invited Lucy from high school to your housewarming party? Lucy the nerd? No, I didn't invite her. What's up, Spaz? Still recycling. <laughs> yes, Dana, I still recycle. Maybe someone should think about recycling that attitude. <laughs> Such a nerd. Such an ugly nerd. <laughs> Why are you here? You're embarrassing me in front of my real friends. So sorry, I didn't know you were having a party, and I know we had that fight earlier, and honestly, after I saw the armoire my grandmother gave me sitting in your yard, I almost didn't come in, but I brought you cookies because my mother always told me to get a housewarming gift for any friend who... Uh, your mom is here, by the way. Beth! Lucy! Mom? Lucy! What are you doing here? Lucy, what's up, my daughter? Did you get my mom drunk? You know she's in AA. You know, I remember the day this little girl was born. She... No, you don't, Mom. You've told me multiple times that you don't remember my birth. How's your sponsor going to feel when she hears about this? Don't you... <clears throat> damn bitch. I will slap a motherfucker. Ladies, break it up. Break it up here. Come on. Beth, why don't you get out of here with me? Come on, girl. <laughs> Fine by me. I did not come to get scolded by my ugliest child. I came to get lit. I'm telling Dad you're cheating. Oh, suck my ass. And I'm keeping these cookies. Yeah, I don't care. You suck at baking. Screw you, Karen. I've never been anything but a good friend of you. And all you do is just not like my cookies and think recycling is dumb, which it's not. I'm saving the earth so your dumb, stupid face can be in it or on it. You know what I... Well, looky what we have here. Oh, shit. Brantley's about to show up. Lock the doors. Are you okay? Apparently, Karen has psychic visions now. Oh, hey, hey, hey. I wasn't asking you, nerd. Oh, damn, you're so ugly. Well, looky what we have here. You decided to throw a whole party on breakup with Brantley Day? Ugh. You even invited Carlos to show off his penis? Hey, you don't need to talk about that. Keep my penis out your mouth. I'll put some respect on it, goddammit. Why are you even here? <sighs> my friend and I were actually coming by as a favor to warn you about the curse put on you. See? I am cursed. Told you so. And because of your dumb curse, there's a gang of demons looking for me. And I can't stay at my apartment tonight. So I'll be crashing here. Uh, no you won't. In the master bedroom. Absolutely not. With my new lover. With what? Gene. What? And also this guy. What's your name again? Th Thomas, but I... I don't really think we've met before. Thomas is joining us, too. All right, sick. What up, T? No, Brentley. You can't just barge into my home, come out of the closet, and fuck the guy who's been hitting on me all night. Watch me. But you can't watch because tickets are sold out. Because your dead mom already bought them all. Booyah! Oh, man, I can't wait to tell my parents about this. Two guys are better than one Karen. See? I knew that guy was gay the whole time. 
time. Does this really seem like a good time to say I told you so? You, you literally said told you so to me like a minute it's ago. It's so annoying when you point things like that out. It's like one of the main reasons people don't like you. I'm gonna get my mom and get out of here. I'll do cocaine too if someone wants to party harder. Hey, if you tell your father that I got lit, I'll cut you out of my will, okay? I'm not talking to you while you're like this. Hey, you keep my penis out your mouth. Mom, gross. Where are my shoes? Lucy, uh, wait. What? I, uh, you can have your furniture back. Oh, thanks. But I want it off my lawn tonight. I'm a little busy tonight. You never were my favorite kid. Lucy, I'm sorry. I've been stressed lately. I don't want to hear it, Karen. I don't know what's gotten into you. Maybe you are cursed, but I don't care. Karen, did you hear anything I just said? You never listen. You don't love them all. Some kids you just don't like. You'll get it if you have kids, which you probably won't because you are. Oh,